Hello friends and welcome to SSA Updates India. Today we are going to discuss on how to approach Audit and Assurance AA exam effectively. And a hundred percent effective way to pass your Audit and Assurance exam in the first attempt. So without wasting any more time, let's go start the video. First of all, let's see what is Audit and Assurance is all about. Audit and Assurance provides you with an understanding of the knowledge and applications skills required to carry out an audit engagement. So let's see what actually happens in an audit engagement. First of all, to start an audit, we have to accept all the audit engagements required as per the agreement. After accepting the audit and engagement, we have to understand the entity and its environment. After understanding the entity and its environment, we have to assess the risk of materiality misstatements. Using the materiality concept, we have to understand which things are going to affect our decisions relating to the audit. If there is an effective control expected from the decision, then no effective control, communicate the deficiency and go for the full substantive procedures. But if the expected control are expected then do the test of controls if it is unsatisfactory then communicate the deficiency and do a substantive procedure and if the test of controls are satisfactory reduce the substantive measures after selecting the reduced substantive measure or the full substantive measure we have to finalize the report and we have to make an audit report we have to submit this audit report to the management. This is all what we do in an audit engagement. Next, let us see what are the steps for the success in an audit and engagement or we can say in an audit and assurance exam. The first step, if possible, study with an approved learning partner and with an approved content like BPP or Kaplan. Next, study the whole syllabus. Practice exam style and standard questions to time using the SCCA practice platform. Develop your skills to construct effective written response questions. Ensure you understand methods rather than just focus on how to do the calculations. Attempt at least two full exam under exam conditions. Debrief your answers and then focus your study on weaker areas. These are the steps to success in an audit and engagement exam. Now. Let's see, a study planner template provided by an SCCA to their SCCA students. The link for the audit and assurance study planner template is in the video description. Go and check out the link after the video. A very effective study planner template provided by SCCA. The students should refer to that every time. Next, let us see what are the key resources that we should refer to while studying and preparing for audit and assurance exam. The first and the foremost key resource is the examiner's approach to audit and assurance. The next is objective test questions for session computer based exams. Guide to session computer based exam. Approaching audit and assurance constructed response questions. The worth of the effective key resource that is ACCA practice platform. A very effective platform provided by the ACCA to their ACCA students to practice the exam style questions in an effective way. The next is the examiner's report. The next is the auditor's report. Read the mind of the marker. The audit of assertions. These are all the key resources that you should refer to. The next is an exam specimen of an audit and assurance exam we have providing to our acca students a sample exam specimen for practicing your audit and assurance paper the link for the same is in the video description go and check out the link after the video next let us see how to tackle the exam before that we will see the paper pattern of audit and assurance exam the audit and assurance exam is divided into three parts that is Section A, Section B 
and section C. Section A is a 30 mark section divided into 15 OT questions of 2 marks each, totaling it to 30 marks. The next section is section B. Section B is divided into 30 marks of which 3 cases of 5 OT questions getting into 10 per case each make, making it to 30 marks. Next let us see some tips for answering the OT questions. First and the foremost tip read the question and the scenario carefully. Think before answer do not rush do not get tempting by the answers. Next is answer all the questions even if you are unsure of the answers. Complete the 100% syllab marks question in the paper because there is no negative marking in the ACC exam. The next is section C which is 40 mark sections divided into 2 scenarios of 20 marks each. Let us see the tips for answering section C questions. First and the foremost step is be strict in allocating 36 minutes to each question which means 72 minutes that is 1 hour 12 mi minutes to the two questions of section C. The next answer always read the requirements first. Approach numerical questions logically. Show all the workings do not simply plug results of calculations. Construct narrative answers around your answer plan. Use headings, clear paragraphs and concise sentences. Attempt all the requirements. This is or all the tips for answering the section C questions effectively. Next, let us see the only way to pass the audit and assurance exam paper is practice as much questions as you can. You have to keep on practicing as many questions you can from study text or exam kit or any other question banks provided by the ACC or any other study material. Next, study each and every concept from the book. Next, think less and do more. That is, do not think about the time taken to study the exam or the syllabus. Just go and start the revision again and again. So this is what all for the audit and assurance paper. Best of luck for your exams. Thank you. Thank you.